Yes, they are. They say Edward Trotter Jr.'s roommate was the last person to see him alive at that time. And investigators say they're not ruling anybody out, even though there have been years of interviews and investigations. And they say that many, he had many, many friends, many of which are still alive and know what happened that night. I believe uh, we know the name of the, of the suspect and his direct accomplice right now. That's new information coming from the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office surrounding the death of 43-year-old Edward Trotter. It may have been 25 years, but it's been 25 years of tears and, and, and a hole in your heart. Crystal Pelfrey, just 17 years old when her father's decomposed body was found in a wooded area behind his home off Peebley Road in Jones, June 19, 1996. Mr. Trotter's remains were found significant distance from the uh, residence. Uh, we believe the body had been moved. Captain Sean Shelby releasing new information about what he calls a weapon of opportunity used in the crime, an antique 12 gauge shotgun. And this was probably not a, a pre-planned homicide. We do believe it was some type of uh, confrontation at the property, which, which led to a firearm being jerked out of that cabinet. And used. Since then, investigators have combed through hundreds of pages of evidence and interviewed many of Trotter's friends, whittling down the list of suspects to just two. We believe that multiple people, multiple people know what happened that day. And we believe that multiple people have kept that information to themselves for 25 years. Pelfrey saying after 25 years, their family just wants to know what happened and why. We want to know why it was necessary for him to pay with his life. Patrina Adger, KOCO 5 News.